What's up everybody? I hope all y'all are doing alright. Now this is like my 10th attempt to make a video. The kids are here today, my wife's here today, she's outside right now, so I'm going to try to get it in as fast as I can, because uh, it's crazy. Uh, one day when I build my new house, which I'm, I've talked about in the past video, I'm going to have my own room with a lock on the door so I can have some space. Uh, but all jokes aside, I just want to thank everybody yesterday for the support and the comments and the uplifting stuff y'all said to me. It really... Uh, just motivated me to do more with my channel now i'm still going to be talking about the budget stuff so the people who subscribe to me for that part i'm still going to be talking about that i'm going to get out some more videos on that type of stuff and one trend i've seen from people on the dave ramsey on the budgets people who's trying to get to go through this debt-free journey everybody seems so positive and they're so happy even though they're still in their debt they're still you know drowned in debt just like i was and just like i still am a little bit you know i'm getting there i'm working my way down uh getting this debt knocked off but everybody seems so positive because it feels like the first time in our lives, once about a year ago, once I got on it, I finally got a hold of everything. I felt like I was in control because I finally sat down and did a budget, did the envelope system, and it's amazing. Once you do that, it'll really change the way you feel about finances, and you won't feel so that drowning, out of control feeling. So that's the best part I think about the Dave Ramsey thing is you finally feel control in your life. Now. This is my first little mini sermon, I guess you could say. I want to do this about once a week, give a little motivational, try to motivate you. You leave comments in my channel. When you subscribe to my channel, you're a part of my channel. So make sure you comment and people read that and it motivates them. You know, tell them your testimony, anything. My channel is open for that. So uh, no matter, don't worry about people persecuting you. I'll back you up because you're going to back me up. <laughs> but uh, I just want to talk about the Word of God. Now, about two years ago, I decided to be a Sunday school teacher. And that really changed my life doing that because I really got close to the people in my Sunday school class. Even though some of them was 50 year old, twice my age, I'm 28, really seeing them grow in the God's Word and them seeing me grow. It's just that's what church is all about and Sunday school is all about. It's fellowship and really uplifting each other and kind of get more personal and knowing your faults, your weaknesses, and kind of building up on that. Even though some of us struggle, some of us, we give in to sin. We're humans, ain't we? And we kind of forgive each other because we know God forgives us. Now, it's so important, when I got called to preach, you know, a couple weeks ago, I knew what I, God has called me for, you know, to be two years ago after I become a teacher, but I just ran from it because I didn't think I was good enough. But God, you know, he says, Zach, look at the Bible, all the people in the Bible, all the men in the Bible, once you dig into it, you'll see that these were unqualified people who made a lot of mistakes and God still used them. And they even made it in the Bible, you know, to, to write his word. So he can use you to do something great. Don't ever think you're not good enough, no matter your age, your circumstance, what you look like, how much money you make, your popularity. God can use you to be something great, but you got to dig down in his word and read it, and he will reveal that to you, just like he did me. So it's very important that you read the Bible, and I hope you do, because it'll tell you what's right and what's wrong. The world's trying to tell us what's right and what's wrong right now, but the word of God was wrote years, thousands of years ago, and it is clear about what's right and wrong in the world. And people's uh, wanting you to give in to certain things, and I don't think we should. We got to show these people love, even though they can per persecute us. We got to show them love. Christians have got to stand stern on their beliefs, but at the same time, love. Show your love. Let's show what the world thinks that Christians are just these bad, bigot people, these judgmental people. We're not like that. True Christians. And there are some Christians who are like that, and I hope that they get that right because if you're mean to people, or you judge people because they sin different than you have, then shame on you. You need to get it right with God. He can take that away from you. And he can show you how to love people, even though they may persecute you. Forgive the ones you can't forgive. God can give that all to you if you just truly give it over to him. He can make you feel so good and so powerful, I guess you can say. And in the word of God, it will reveal all that to you. And lost person, if you've not been saved, you know, all you gotta do is just give your heart over to Jesus, repent your sins, ask for forgiveness for your sins, and he can uplift you and he can make you do great, great things. If you feel like your life is going nowhere, give it over to God and he will send you somewhere. Nobody's down here on earth are gonna be somebody's in heaven. We just gotta work for him. That's what we're here for as Christians, is to spread the gospel, and that's what I'm gonna do with my channel. I may not do it well, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it as best as I can. And I hope I uplift somebody so my challenge is for you to start reading the Bible. Go to Google, type in year, read a Bible in a year, print off that little sheet and mark off. They give you different scriptures to read every day. Do that. Read the Bible within the year so you can personally say, I've read the Bible within a year. I've read the Bible front to back. And then you'll want to dig more into it, get more detailed in it. And God will talk to you through the Bible. 
So make sure you do that because you cannot grow unless you get that knowledge in you. The more God you put in you, the more godly things that come in you and you hear and you see, the more godly things are going to come out. The more people's going to see you as a light. People's going to see you as a good Christian. They're not going to see this bad person. If I constantly, if I hung around bars, if I hung around bad people, toxic people who bring you down, if I listen to bad stuff all the time, bad stuff's going to come out of me. So which one are you going to pick? You want to pick godly stuff or stuff from Satan? Satan's so powerful in the world right now. He wants to get in your mind to make you think you're worthless, that you can't do nothing for Jesus, that you're defeated before you even begin. But Jesus is sitting right there and just saying, give it to me, I'm here. I got the keys to hell. That's what he says. He's got it. He's more powerful than the devil will ever be. You just got to give your life over to him. So I encourage y'all to do that. Pray for me as I go on my journey. And I'm going to be doing these little bitty, you know, uh, mini sermons, I guess you can say. And I just want you to get to the Word of God. And even though sometimes it's hard to read some of the stuff, you may not understand it, just keep on reading and keep doing it. 15 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, we've all got that extra time. Even if it's downloading that Bible app on your phone and listening to it, God can uplift you. But thank y'all so much for, my uh, for supporting my channel. God bless y'all. And uh, see you next time, folks. Read the Word of God.